Jasper screaming in the background. Of course, you know, you can't do nothing around here without Jasper wanting to get in the middle of your video. Anyway, good morning. About 9 o'clock in the morning, and I uh, wanted to show you what we're going to be doing for breakfast. This is not the typical breakfast meal, but uh, who says you got to stick to bacon and eggs in the, in the morning, right? So, we're going to be making, uh, heck, I don't even know what this is called. Um, it is a pesto fettuccine shrimp uh, cheesy goodness. Okay, Ernie says the recipe came out of Men's Health magazine. Uh, she did not tell me what the name of the dish is. But, okay, it's, it's <laughs> we're gonna call it the 10 year meal because she got the recipe like 10 years ago, so I don't remember what it's called. But we're gonna go ahead and make uh, fettuccine, pesto, gorgonzola cheese, tomato shrimp goodness. How's that sound? And that's gonna be for breakfast. So, one of the first things I need to do is uh, get my pot out and get everything ready over here. Uh, and I'm going to try and move this so you can see a little bit more of what's going on. Uh, I'm going to put some water in the pot, first of all, for the pasta. So, it's not unusual for this household to have, uh, have whatever for, for breakfast or breakfast for dinner or... Uh-huh, yeah. I don't know what she just said, but uh, a meal is a meal is a meal. Okay. So, I got my pot. I got, uh, it's about, I don't know, a little over half full of water. So I'm going to go ahead and put it on the stove, turn it on, uh, about seven on, on our stove to, uh, to get the water heating up, get it to a point to where it'll boil a little bit. Um, and once that starts boiling, uh, that's where I'm going to put the fettuccine noodles in and, uh, we'll boil those for about ten minutes. Uh, I want them a little bit past al dente. Um, but in the meantime, what I'm going to do is take my shrimp, which this still has the tails on it, it's frozen. I've got to take the tails off. And then I need to run them under some warm water to try to thaw them out a little bit. And uh, I'm actually going to throw them in a pan and throw the tomatoes in with it, some of the bacon bits, and kind of stir all that together, a little bit of seasoning with them. But what I forgot um, is I've still got a pan over here in the sink that I need to wash that I'm, I'm going to throw those in. So. Man, wash them dishes. That's so yeah. sexy stuff. Hey, look at this. Look at this. Go Wins White. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's see. I'm going to counter that one. Go Wins White. For you guys that are watching, I don't know whose channel this video is going to end up on. Uh, it could be on Ed's Attention to Detail, which is my channel, or it might end up on Ernie Hatmaker, uh, who just, you know, came in here and talked about the Widge Wife shirt. So, uh, yeah, not sure which channel it's going to end up on, um, but make sure you go check out the other channel, whichever one this one ends up on, the, the, the other channel, and, uh, you know, like, subscribe, watch the videos, uh, we, we both really appreciate it. Alright, so, I got my pen cleaned up, put that over on the stove for a moment, and, uh, yes, because I'm going to be handling the, the, uh, the raw, well, it's not raw, it's actually cooked already, right. but because I'm going to be handling the shrimp, that's the reason why I've got, uh, my gloves on, so, go ahead and get this open, drop it into my colander, which I'm not sure if you guys can see because Ernie's blocking the camera, <laughs> uh, she's just happy that I'm cooking breakfast, I think, you know, so, Let's, uh, well, shoot. I was going to spin the camera around, about knocked it down. Um, unfortunately, our, our tripod uh, gave up the ghost recently, so I don't have a tripod to set my camera on at the moment. Um, but anyway, so I got my shrimp in the colander. I'm going to run some warm water across that. You know, this this, this brings me back to slow momentum. Uh, that's another channel that we watch quite a bit. Slow momentum. Um, With Keith and DJ, they are so much fun. There you go, Keith and DJ. So anyway, we were watching them yesterday, and they were, uh, I think in Iowa, possibly. Um, they, they, they pull campers from manufacturers out to dealer sites. Uh, that's, that's what they're, they they're doing. They um, But anyway, they had stopped uh, for a rest, and as they were coming back to the trucks, BJ kind of did the hip bump on, on him and knocked him down. He went rolling across the ground. He said this, he had his... Uh, he said he doesn't have a video about that. Thing. Oh, so anyway, slow momentum. Yeah, there might be a video on it, but uh, apparently he's rolling around on the ground, and his, his teeth, which, which were in his pocket. Um, his teeth fell out, his teeth fell out. Um, BJ, his wife, is just, you know, hysterically laughing at him. Ask him why his teeth were in his pocket. You guys check out Slow Momentum. Yeah, go, go over there and take a look at that, because I'm sure that's going to be a funny video. And this one might be, too, uh, once all is said and done. No, but. this one is not funny. This one is serious. Cooking and feeding your family is serious business. Okay, so, I'm pinching the tails off of these. Pinching the tail. Uh, now you pinching can... Pinching the tail. Not that tail. Um, you can buy your shrimp already, uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
deveined and all that good stuff. Now I know there's some people out there that are allergic to shellfish, so you don't have to put shrimp into this. We can actually mushrooms, chicken. Yeah, we, we, we've substituted several different things for that. Uh, so what you want to do is whatever you, you substitute for the shrimp, um, because of the other ingredients in there not being really bold, uh, it all meshes really well. But if you put something bold in there, um, it will overpower the other ingredients. So, you know, it's kind of whatever your taste is, I suppose. But, uh, so, anyway, yeah. Tension tails, this, this is the exciting part right here. So, yeehaw. And this is probably about two dozen shrimp. I didn't look to see what the bag said, but I'm sure it was by weight. Okay, since I have these kind of thawed out a little bit, got the tails pinched off of them, put them in the pan, and I'm going to turn some low heat on these. And it's about six on the, uh, on the stove there. And uh, I think I can do get these, uh, get these gloves off now. So, water's still heating up. I'm going to throw a little bit of oil in there so when I do get the pasta, into the water. The oil, pour it. Yes, pour the oil. Don't throw it. That would make a big mess. So pouring the oil into the water just enough to kind of break up the surface tension on the water a little bit. That way when the noodles go in, they uh, they get they get a little bit of oil on them and it keeps the bread sticking together as bad. So. Now, like I said, this recipe came out of Men's Health magazine. I'm sure that this part was not in the recipe. I'm gonna put a little butter into the shrimp, into the shrimp, and then I'm gonna saute the shrimp just a little bit in the pan. Like I said, I'm going to add some seasonings to it, and then I'm going to add some diced tomatoes. So, like I said, I don't think the butter was part of the original uh, recipe, so kind of going away from that a little bit. You don't have to use butter. Uh, honestly, you don't have to saute the shrimp either, but that's just what I'm going to do. Unless they're boring cats. Okay, so. Yeah, you might want to get that out. I should probably just that. Yeah. We're not going to talk about the feral cats running around the neighborhood. They mess up the party. So, all that grass growing up would have been eaten. So I'm basically putting about three tablespoons of butter in here with the shrimp. And uh, gonna have that melt down and just stir the shrimp around. Wait, really? What? Jasper's, uh, Jasper's talking to us. Can you see him back there? You see him back there on his cage? Uh, yeah, you hear him, don't you? Everybody, hello Jasper. So, and of course there's Ernie back there doing her, doing what Ernie does. I'm running playlists! That's what I do! That's what Ernie does, she runs people's playlists. This is the weekend, so. playlist, playlist time. Playlist weekend. All right, so we're gonna move the camera over here and hope that it don't fall. You guys get a little bit better view of what's going on here on the stove. Now, the thing about putting the, the shrimp in here and putting the heat on it is you're gonna start to see some water up here. Um, basically, I ran it under the water and everything. I don't think I got all the water off of it. So you wanna kind of uh, evaporate some of that water off. So it's okay if you see that, it's not that big of a deal. But uh, we're gonna, uh, like I said, try and get this butter melted in and uh, just, like I said, lightly saute these. And the water is gonna help when I add a couple of uh, spices seasonings into the mix here so that uh, we're not just you know plain shrimp but again i caution you uh, you, you want to go easy on any of the seasonings that you use because you don't want to overpower the other ingredients that are in this so you want to ease on the season easing on the season that's right um so I i'm gonna find my phone. Uh, I, I don't i got mine so putting some pepper on here oh, yeah couldn't find her phone because it's charging but that means she found her phone, so good deal. Okay, that's probably a good amount of pepper. Just a little bit of salt, not much. I'm actually gonna add a little bit to the water too. Just just a little pinch, not not much at all. Garlic salt, again, not a whole lot. So Italian seasoning, I am gonna put a little bit of this in, but I'm gonna do that later, not right now. And a little bit of honey powder. Like I said, this, this will give this a nice flavor as it sautés. 
The butter is just about completely melted off now. I'm actually going to turn the heat up just a little bit and get this going a little quicker. Tell you what, it's really starting to smell good though. I wish there was a way that, uh, you know, I, I could put something down there. Uh, scratch and sniff or something on, on a video. Yeah. Just, hey, hey, hey. Just, no, this, this really smells great though. So I guess you'll have to take my word for it right now. So, got that going. The water is getting close to a boil now. So we're going to be dropping pasta in there in a minute. Now, with my pastas, uh, spaghettis, fettuccinis, any of the long straight pasta, I like to break them in half. And uh, that's just so that whenever you're trying to eat it, you don't have to keep lady twisting this. Yeah, the lady in the tramp, keep twisting with your fork or whatever. Uh, it, it just makes it a little bit manageable, more manageable in, in my opinion. You don't have to break it in half, that's just what I do. So, honestly, uh, like I said, this, this is not the, the perfect recipe out of Men's Health magazine. But uh, it's the 10-year shrimp fettuccine uh, recipe. Pesto recipe, yeah. And honestly, pesto is probably one of the key ingredients here. Um, it's going to be one of the major flavors that, that you're going to taste when you eat this. Now, uh, granted, the shrimp's going to be there. Um, this, this, this flavor that the shrimp brings. But the pesto is really kind of the, the number one flavor. The gorgonzola gives it a nice smoothness. But uh, if you decide to try this, um, go back and, and put a comment on the video if you decide that you want to make this dish. And uh, let us know how it turned out. You know, what did you think of it? Uh, did you have any issues? Did you change anything? You know, anything like that. So, um, I'm going to use the whole 16-ounce uh, box of fettuccine. Because we're not afraid of leftovers here. We'll, uh, we'll put it in a, in a container, stick it in the fridge, and, and we'll reheat it and eat it later. In fact, uh, since this is breakfast, with this being breakfast, heck, this might end up being dinner tonight, too. I don't know. Uh, just all depends. So... Alright, so the pasta's in the water, 928. I'm going to boil that for about 10 minutes. Like I said, I want it just a little bit beyond al dente when I take it out. So, if you like your pasta softer, then you can boil it like maybe 12 minutes. Um, but just, just, just keep, uh, yeah, I like a fairly rigid, never mind. I almost, I almost bought into that. No, um, so, just keep checking your fettuccine. Okay, and the shrimp's really going good over here. You guys can probably see the steam coming off of it. I'm gonna turn that down. Man, it smells good. So. It does not smell good. Yeah, it, it really smells good. It does smell like a shellfish. Yep, it does smell like a shellfish. It smells like sauteed mushrooms. So, or not mushrooms, sauteed shrimp. Um, Where do you get the mushrooms? Yeah, well, you know, we've. talking about shrimp and mushrooms. We have put mushrooms into kale. this before. You know, mm. substituted mushroom. We have we've, noodles. We've added mushrooms into the recipe. I and and not, mushroom not substitute anything for the mushroom. So, you can do that as well. Um, one of the drawbacks to doing that, uh, the mushrooms that we've got right now, uh, Ernie has dehydrated a bunch of mushrooms, and uh, they really have a great flavor. I think the dehydrated mushrooms have a more concentrated flavor than even the fresh mushrooms do. And, and when you put them into a dish like that, they are overpowering. So, um, like I said, it's up to you. It depends on you know, your taste, what you want to do. So, uh, anyway, we're going to uh, sit here and just kind of watch the clock and wait for this to boil, and I'm going to shut up, and you guys can just kind of watch it. Come back whenever it's... Okay, so we're about four minutes into boiling the pasta. And one thing that I wanted to kind of bring up real quick was make sure that you stir it every couple of minutes. Um, this is a nonstick pan that I'm using, but uh, the pasta, if it boils for uh, three, four minutes without being stirred, it, it will start to stick to the bottom of the pan. So maybe it's uh, our pan that does that. Maybe it won't do it in yours, but better be safe than sorry. Um, and, you know, just kind of stir it around every couple of minutes while it's boiling. And, uh, yeah, the... The shrimp over here is uh, just kind of on low right now, but I am not on low. I'm going to go ahead and drop the diced tomatoes into the shrimp so that they can start uh, taking in some of the flavor of the tomato as well. Now, you don't want to do this too early. Um, Why not? Because, well, that's a good question. Why not? Why do you not want to add your tomatoes in too early? Because you want to keep the separation of flavors. So, like I said, the shrimp's been going for about six, seven minutes, sauteing really well, and if I add... If I added the tomatoes in early on, then this whole thing would taste like a, a big pan of tomatoes. So, can it ruin it? And it, I think it would really kind of hide or, or take away the, the shrimp but, flavor. And the bowl inside the garden Yeah, so, like I said, I, I'm, I'm gonna wait, uh, well, I'll probably wait a couple minutes more anyway before I throw the tomatoes in, just to make sure, but right now I'm, I'm six minutes into the pasta being boiled, and it's starting to look really nice. Like I said, I, I'm shooting for about eight minutes on this, eight to 10. But uh, honestly, the way it's looking, I think eight is going to be just fine for what I'm trying to do. So, uh, eight is enough? Eight is enough. Yeah, I think that was, a, that, that was a TV show at some point. I don't think so. I don't know. But anyway, so 
Yeah, we're gonna drop this, uh, drop the tomatoes in. I want some cookies. Oops. That was my way to get gauge. You, you didn't hear that. Yeah, the weighted gauge for the pressure cooker. Um, I'm not gonna add the gorgonzola yet. I'm gonna wait until the pasta is done, but go ahead and get it open and get it ready. Because if I put the gorgonzola in there now, it's just gonna melt all over that pan, and then my, my small frying pan is gonna be covered in cheese, and it's not gonna be in, in the meal where I want it. Mm. But I am gonna go ahead and put the pesto in with the shrimp and the tomatoes. Now we're using a... I can't even read what that says. Pretty small jar, anyway. So you don't need a whole lot of pesto. Because like I said, the pesto is really kind of the main ingredient and it is going to try to overpower the, the rest of the dish. But I'm just putting it in here because I want it to heat up just a little bit before I drop it into the noodles. And we are at 8 minutes on the uh, fettuccine boil. So I'm going to be taking that off here in just a moment. Alright. So shrimp, tomatoes, pestos, all kind of mixed real good. Take this over here to the sink. Let's see. Turn you guys around see if you can see what's happening here. Drain the water off through this colander. And it looks like uh, the noodles did really well. I had like one or two that, that kind of stuck to the pan, but I think that's just... They're not really stuck on there, they just kind of suction to it. So, anyhow, put this back on the stove. Spin you guys back around here just a little bit. And, now before I add my pasta back in, I'm going to go ahead and put everything that I had in the other pan into the big pan. So, my shrimp, my tomatoes, my pesto, all those good seasonings. Everything's all into that pan. Now, I know you can't see right now, I'm just trying to drain the water off of the noodles. But, now that I got that done, so I'm going to drop them in. Alright, there we go. Remember, I told you I was going to wait to put the gorgonzola in until... So now, the noodles are hot. Everything that came out of the other pan is at least warm. And the last ingredient that I had that I showed everybody, bacon bits. Gives it a little bit of a zing, not uh, not too much, but yeah. So we're gonna drop some bacon bits in there. You know, Everything's better with bacon anyway. All right, and there we have it. Now we're just gonna stir everything together. Mm. Man, you can smell all of this now. You can smell the shrimp. You can smell the pesto. The cheese is starting to starting to melt really good in, into everything. Put a little bit of heat underneath it real quick, see if I can kind of help it along here, help this cheese get melted in real good. Alright, I told you I was going to add a little Italian seasoning, so I'm going to go ahead and put some of that in there. Just enough to give it a taste, not, not a bunch, and a little bit more garlic salt. Just a little, just a little sprinkle. And mix this up some more. Man, I'm telling you, the aroma coming out of this pot is just amazing right now. This is going to be so good. So, that's just about it. So, we're pretty much done. Somebody's uh, saying that they're hungry. But, there you go. A little bit of pasta creamy goodness. And... We're going to have breakfast. So, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope the, uh, if you decide to give this a try that yours turns out well. Like I said, leave me a comment. Let me know. So, until next time, Ed's attention to details. Saying, remember, pay attention to the details. We'll see you again soon. Bye. See, and that's why you should be on your channel. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.